Um, I'm John, I'm Emil's dad. And I'm Arlette, Emil's mum. Can you tell us the importance of uh, relationships? I think the important about relationships is um, having that close bond um, with your parents and you, you're able to talk to them about anything um, that you've got an um, issue with or something that you want to talk to them about. They're, they're, they're there if, if I need them for support. You know, Em's been living away from home for about six or seven years and obviously when he was at home he talked to us more, well in some ways he talked to us more because he was younger um, and as he's matured and developed and got used to living away from home he hasn't needed to, and forged much more solid relationships with his support staff. More comfortable and than the other place I was. Yeah, and you've got better at kind of asking for what you need and, you know, not feeling, not feeling you always have to come to mum and dad because that's part of growing up. But even so, you, yeah, we're still very closely kind of connected, aren't we, with yeah. when you want help. Yeah, um, I think it's good having that relationship as well because you, like, like dad was saying, it's good to have that relationship with the support workers as well so they sort of get to know mm. a bit more about me as well and if it's something that I don't feel like talking to mum about I've got dad there as a backup if I feel comfortable or either mum if it's a situation as well. Yeah. And we've had to kind of learn as well how to begin to withdraw as M gets more and more capable but that's the same as any you know we've got a daughter M's got a sister as well it's the same stuff. You haven't asked us as much, have you, for, for help, really? No. It becomes more kind of social and jolly. Maybe the jolly first time and, when, when, mm. when, I had, when I had my accident, but now I've sort of got better. Yeah. I think that has, since that's happened, that's quite, it's changed your percentage, relationships. Percentage. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, you're having to ask, you're having mm. to be really quite brave and ask for things that you didn't need help with before, mm. um, which Because I'm not used to like, sort of like, just doing it by yeah, myself. Yeah, which can lead, you know, understandably, it can lead to frustration mm. and, um, but yeah, I mean, we're all, we've all got commu good communication between us, haven't we, and, and mm. we c we're all kind of enabling you to mm. I even to say to you that, obviously living at home for a long time, mum's used to taking me to the appointments, but mum's like, do you want me to take them? No, no, no. I'll go there with my support worker. So then, if I had an appointment like annual health check, the support workers will know me. Um, the support workers will know me more because they they're the ones who support me every day mm. in everyday life. So is it getting like the, the trust in the trusting relationship that you have with mum and dad is trying to transfer that? We'll transfer that, yeah. I think what we've always ever since day one really we've always been a kind of if Em wants to try and do something, it's a kind of can-do attitude, mm. isn't it? Rather than, had this, let's like have it. a go and see if we can, rather than, oh, I don't know about yeah. that kind of thing. Whatever it's been, really. Yeah.